Out of all the powers, I think we can agree that the tentacle one is the most unique one so far. She's looking like a hentai protagonist. Now, the artists are going to go hard with it. Let's see what's going to happen in today's reaction, though. Syrup loves it. Oh, it's so cute, but it's so disturbing. Like, uh, but, you know, it's kind of cute how Syrup can play with it, though. I wonder how that works, because there's so many different, like, tentacles, right? Like, when you have your arm, you can focus on a single arm. There's, like, four different appendages there. She can control a four at will. That's, that's, that's weird. Wait. <laughs> it's him. I love this guy. The green hair dude. He's such an idiot. He's a lovable idiot, though. Oh. He's got a thing for Frederico, maybe. Oh, who is this dude? Wait, don't you look a little bit important? What's that hood? That's an NPC? Maybe it's important for getting the pet. Hello. Pull the book and there'll be a hidden entrance. Or not. No, no, no. Don't give up. Maybe it's something in there still. I think Kanade is like, psych, and then goes back in. Ha! Oh, nothing. Pull the book and then like hidden entrance. Oh? Slime thing. There's the quest. Mirror slime. Mirror slime. Is this gonna be like a ditto in Pokemon where you can basically, as the name suggests, mirror any skill? Huh. Mirror image. You could create like other clones. Huh. That kind of suits kind of these ability. The slime. Oh, see? You can create copies. It's like a clone. Can it talk? Is it intelligent? It should be able to copy. Exactly, exactly. It's just a mirror matchup. Who's gonna win? Man, Kanade never gets like this much focus or like much like uh, specific screen time. In fact, Kanade gets like left behind a bit. I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know if that's the right word. It's just like you can't, there's so many characters, you can't like focus on everybody, right? Kanade does have like really ridiculous skills. Like instant cast, all these magic that he's just stored away. And now. If we have the slime, there can be two Kanades using all these spells at once. Double the output, right? Okay, I'm watching. We're just overloading it with all our knowledge, huh? Have you learned enough? <laughs> 50 skills in one go. Boom. Mimic. And it can copy Kanade and all his magic, but I wonder if he can copy, like, Maple, for example. Wouldn't that be crazy? It's half of it, okay. That's still fine. Half output, but another one that can spam attacks like that? That's crazy. <laughs> Just copying exactly. Is what kind of pet would Is get? I think something that has to help her with crafting, finding better materials. Dwarves are always craftsmen, isekais, man. Or like even fantasy shows like this. Wait, the pet isn't gonna be that dwarf. No, 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 no. Wouldn't that be hilarious, though? Ask your guild. Ask your guild. Who's around? Oh! Maple. On a date. Oh, they got their, their little date with me. Another one. And she's got a cute, uh, complete act up as usual. No, they could probably help together. Come on, help her out. Monster that no one has been able to tame. That's kind of crazy. Yo, if Is gets the help of two guild masters, that's also crazy. You can talk in your normal voice. I mean, it's funny when she talks in this deep guild master voice. <laughs> yeah, all right, sure. It's fine. Oh? Me? What do you got? Ignis, is it a dragon? Fire dragon? It's a phoenix. Oh, it's kind of tiny though. I bet it can grow bigger. Like, we got to ride on it, right? Come on. It can probably get bigger. There it is. Megamorph. Here it is. This is the same skill that Syrup uses, right? Damn. A phoenix. That fits her theme exactly well. Yeah, a little bit faster than Syrup, I guess. What? Fire it up. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice flex. Oh. Oh, they're so cute. Don't kill them. No. They're so cute. All these monsters in this level are so cute, please. No. No. 
They're so cute. Stop killing them. Oh no. Do you have to do all this to kill this? No, you don't have to use solar beam and your laser beams. No. They're so cute. Please let them leave in peace. I guess they would try to attack us during the entire, you know, ore harvesting process. Blue fire. Oh. Blue fire has always been so cool in like flame users. I think the first time I saw it might have been in like uh, Avatar The Last Airbender where Azula has blue flames and everybody else has, you know, usual orange and vegetables. And blue is like the highest, like, uh, it's like the highest temperature of all the different flames. That's why it's like the strongest, right? Okay. <laughs> Amazing. This level of potion. It's valuable, but so is your help. <laughs> True. True. Oh, Syrup. Syrup's so cute. Look at Syrup. I should be focusing on the dialogue. Look at Syrup and Maple right now. Aww. Probably. Why don't we just fly across with Phoenix? We can just walk in the lava? Okay. Lava dragon? Is this the lava dragon? Wow. Boss monster looking thing. But, I mean, we're too strong for this. It doesn't matter. Whoa! Four different transformations. I think that, you know, it, it's used to, like, uh, fasten the animation of the entire transformation process. But that was pretty cool, too. Imitate. Oh, here's a, here's this. Here's the tentacles. Tentacle with machine god. What did it just do? Oh, the tentacle is an extension to use devour with. Oh shit, that's kind of ridiculous. I thought you could only use devour with the 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 shield that we had. Tentacle block? <laughs> Shut your mouth. Tentacle is so versatile. The phoenix is going in. Let's see this. Okay, okay. Little aerial combat. Linked flame. I thought fire on fire wouldn't work as well, but she's doing pretty good. Holy phoenix flame. I want the blue flames again. Show me the blue flames. There it is. Blue fire. Boom. Damn. The help of two guild masters is so good. And there's the map that we want. Get it! No terrain damage, so we can just walk there, right? We should be able to just walk. It's kind of scary, but it should be fine, right? Oh, she's talking in a regular voice. I can't, I just can't hear it right now. Yeah, we have tentacle arms now. Well, you're not supposed to expect it because it's a maple, so you just expect the unexpected. I wonder if it's just her arm that she can turn into tentacles or any other, like her legs too. Maybe could she just turn into an entire kraken? Unrivaled? I wouldn't say so. Like, them, the flame emperors and the holy order. They're pretty strong too. Like, our top three, right? That's the main three guilds. I want like another rival guild to rise up though. That'd be pretty interesting. <laughs> That's gonna move up too. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotta try to get some kind of monster or pet that gives him HP, right? <laughs> a horror themed area. Oh? I mean, if you look at his armor design, it's a little horror themed too, I guess, with all the skeletons. Yeah, I, I want one to scare Sally though. Oh, there's a scythe in the back. <laughs> Just bonking everyone with the shield. It doesn't matter to him. Really? That would have killed him? That would have actually killed him with that one attack? You, because you can li He literally outlives zombies. I mean, the zombies are undead, but you know what I mean. Like, it's kind of funny. The whole theme of him is like, you kill me, but I won't die on a 50-50 chance. And now he's fighting all these like undead enemies to get his pet. Oh, this is a new one. Flame Slash. <laughs> Oh, 
What pet will it be? Some zombie themed pet. Will it be an actual zombie? In the chest. What is it? What is it? It says treasure. But there's a ring there. Hmm? There's a ring there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it on. It's the pet ring. Let's see what the pet is. It is a. Uh, it's not too spooky, but this looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like a. It's called an armored. Kind of reminds me of like a in Pokemon, like the Reggie series, except they're like, except this one's like a floating spirit one. Oh, some kind of spirit pet. I wonder if this is like the rarest one or like the most difficult one, because again, no one has ever been able to do this yet. Oh. So tiny and cute. Hello. Spirit. It's gotta be some kind of support utility to help her craft better. Faye. So many pet names to memorize. Oh. oh, it can talk. It can kind of talk. Everybody got pets now. Nice. And this is all important for the guild event, right? Because pets are better there. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the slime form is pretty cute too. And yeah, oh, May and Yui's, like, they're twin bears. Oh, and it matches their outfits too. Oh, it comes out of a treasure chest? It's not too spooky. It's not too spooky. Come on. It's just like a spear with, like, armor on it. But do we have to keep that chest around? <laughs> Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of cool looking. Oboro's looking a little scared too there. Hey, what does it do? Oh? Transformation? Oh, wait? Wait, hold up! Yo, he's got even more cool armor like transformation like add-ons now. What? His <laughs> entire face is covered. Yeah, pretty cool. What does it actually do, though, other than just give us more armor? Yeah. Um, <laughs> what? Me and Yui are very impressed at this. I don't think... I don't know if he's impressed at it. I don't know, based on his reaction. The transformation was pretty cool, yeah. Cool. Yeah, we all got partners. They're all rare ones. So there's like a different rarity of it, huh? Interesting. Everybody has gotten a pet and we're going to the next guild event. And apparently each pet has like a rarity system. I didn't know, but we all got the rare ones. Of course, of course we did. And we finally got to see the tentacle powers. But Devour, that's kind of crazy. It's so versatile. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please subscribe and check out the other videos and playlists on my channel for even more content. And until next time, take care.